Okay, so right now after we have learned how actually the hacker is cloning any website to track uh, their victims So right now I will show you another example with another tool because maybe at some times maybe as uh, a previous tool will not uh, work with you So you have to learn actually multiple tools uh, as we mentioned before so right now we are going to use actually this tool this tool is very very good uh, uh, cloning uh, cloning tool and uh, it's actually a python script so it can be worked at at any platform like the linux the windows and also the mac os uh, operating systems so right now we are going to use this tool on our hacking kali linux machine okay so this is the official web page of this tool and if you scroll down right here you will see how to download uh, all of the required commands to download this tool and also uh, to start using uh, this script okay so i will navigate back to my hacking machine right here and open the terminal okay so after opening the terminal i will navigate to my downloads folder and uh, go inside my phishing tools directory and list all of the tools all of the hacking tools right here and uh, as you can see we don't have actually this tool yet on my machine uh, but i will show you how to um, start this tool so this is actually the tool the http uh, fish right here okay but actually we can we can install this tool by just copy the first command right here and then we get back to my hacking machine and just and just actually download as a file like this and after that all of you have to need is to uh, is to go inside this directory and start the script right here so let's uh, fo follow the steps together so after i after i go actually inside the, um, the script i will just copy and paste this command and type the password so right here the tool has been started and it will actually ask you about um, do you want to automatically download the web page with uh, with the wget command so i will just uh, type yes so it will ask you about the, the website url that you want to copy so i will navigate back right here and open the same website and take this this url right here okay yes so it will actually start downloading all of the web pages of this website as you can see right here and after it finished it will give us all of um, all of the cloned website and then um, as you can as you can follow right here it's actually doing the same as uh, the previous tool it's downloading all of the files associated with this uh, website so we'll have actually a very identical cloned website at the end okay so right right now uh, the download actually process is finished and actually it's asking us about what is the ib or the domain uh, you want uh, the user to be redirected if the user actually is clicked on any form inside this um, this website so for example i will just make it navigate to maybe any website so maybe google.com but of course in the real life scenarios you will edit all of these hyperlinks by your by your own side and you will redirect the user and you uh, and any victim that you have been chosen to any dire uh, directed actually uh, hyperlink that you want and of course this hyperlink will be belong to us okay so right now it's actually editing all of the html files okay and to including this uh, this hyperlink and after that it's actually uh, asking us if we if we want to start the http server to see uh, the content of this web page so for example i will click on on enter and right now it's telling us uh, we have started the http server so you have to just uh, navigate to your uh, local host ib address uh, on this port so to do something like this i will just open the browser and i will just uh, type our local uh, local host ib address following with uh, with this port 
actually by default all of the browsers is using this uh, this port so we don't have to to identify what exactly is support that we want to to use right here but um, to to cut any confusion from your site i will type the whole ip address following with uh, with support so right now i will just type localhost on port 80 and as you can see actually the browser has been removed the, the 80 port because uh, as i told you it's actually using this port by default so you know, we don't have actually to add this this port anymore so the browser right now is loading the web pages and as you can see right here the, the name of the, the tab has been changed to certified hacker Okay, so as you can see at the end, we have actually captured and cloned the same identical website. Okay, so we have actually two options to run to run this uh, fake website. So we can uh, do uh, mix actually the tool uh, run uh, run uh, run it automatically for us, and also we can do this. So we can, for example, navigate back. Let's enter the tool again. And if you list all of the files right here, you will see actually a folder called web. And actually this folder is the default folder that uh, the cloned website files will be downloaded for. So if you enter this folder and type list, you will see all of the cloned uh, files right here uh, belong, uh, belong and uh, was associated with this, uh, with this uh, website. And if we just you know search for the index.html file, because it's actually the the main file that is containing the the elements and the the main design of our web page, of course. So just um, search for this right here. If 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 you actually cannot search with your eyes, you can do something like this. So we can just type ls following this pipe and just type grip.html so right now we are, we are just actually listing and displaying all of the files having this uh, this extension at the end so this is our file okay so we can actually open this file by typing firefox index html like this and actually the file will be opened in the browser and you will see our cloned website so I just uh, wanted to share this information with you because this command actually and this method will be very very useful for you in the future.